The first part of the interview is the introduction. Let's talk about how you can make your introduction stronger so you can increase your performance during the interview. These days, there's no telling where the interview will be. It can be virtual, on Skype or Zoom, or it can be in person where you are literally sitting in front of a group of people. If people are going to be looking at you, you need to make sure you're dressed appropriately. And this can mean different things for different people. For instance, if you were interviewing for an executive or leadership position, you would probably wear a suit and tie. In fact, you really can't go wrong with a suit and tie, especially for a government job. It is far better to overdress than to underdress. You also want to make sure that you are hygienic. That means making sure your fingernails are not dirty, that you've taken a shower, and you are not emitting any type of foul odors. Now, for your introduction, there is something called an elevator speech. This is usually a 30-second speech used to communicate the value you bring to the organization. And this isn't just used for interviews. You should be using these at networking events or when you're introduced to someone new. This should be interesting, memorable, concise, but most of all, it needs to be memorized. In the same way that you can give me your name here today, you should always be able to give your elevator speech. This is an example of a typed out elevator speech used for an interview. As you see here, you will start off with a greeting, such as good morning or good afternoon. Then mention your past experience. In this example, it says the Army, but this could easily be your last company. Now, pay special attention to the words highlighted in pink. These should be the keywords from the job announcement. This introduction is for an interview for the 0300 analyst position. Depending on what job series or position that you're applying for or that you're interviewing for, you can change the keywords. When you include job keywords in your introduction, you are sending a strong signal that you researched and read the entire job announcement. You are qualified for this position and you are serious about working in that organization. But do not be surprised if it seems like no one's listening to you as you're giving your introduction. Throughout most interviews, it is a requirement that they write down everything that was said. So many times the interviewers will be busy writing or typing. It is also important to make sure you are establishing eye contact while communicating with the interviewer. If it is too uncomfortable for you to look into someone's eyes, then focus in this region, the forehead, right above the eyes, right above the eyebrow, right here. Look right here when you're giving your answers. That will give the impression that you are actually looking at their eyes. You want to appear friendly and interested, but you do not want to appear too familiar. When the interview starts, oftentimes, everyone will give you their name. Now, try to memorize their name. Try to use it when you're addressing them. This can be a little difficult because sometimes when you're in front of a panel, it could be four or five different people, and you're trying to remember this guy is Bob, Susan, Bill, and it gets a little difficult. But remember, people enjoy it when you use their names. They like hearing the sound of their name. Another thing to be aware of is your nonverbal communication. It is often said that 70% or more of our communication is communicated nonverbally. This is the crossing of arms, the crossing of legs, how you're positioned, if you're slouched, if you're sitting straight up, if you're leaning forward, all of that will factor in. You do not want to cut your eyes or roll your eyes or look disinterested or look at the floor when you're, when you're supposed to be listening to the person. Speaking of facial expressions, you want to practice active listening. This means smiling or nodding or other expressions that show that you are interested in what the other person is saying. This can all go a long way in establishing a better connection with the interviewer. Interviews are stressful, but the more you prepare, the more you research, practice your answers, what are you going to say to what questions, the more that will calm your nerves. Research into that organization. Find out what their mission statement is. Understand what their pain points. Think about how you can communicate the way that you bring value to that organization. When I was first getting started, even when I had a job offer, I was still participating in interviews. And the reason for that is because interviewing is a skill. And the more that you do it, the better you get at it. The more you practice speaking in front of strangers, telling your story, talking about your achievements, you will gain proficiency at being a good interviewer. Now, if you haven't been getting enough referrals lately and you haven't been going on as many interviews as you would like, 
That means you're not getting referred to the hiring manager. And if you want to know how to increase your referral rate, then I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.